ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages. Good morning. My name is Kanak Gupta, and I am here to bring some drama into your lives today. I am the group director of St. MR Jaipuria Schools. We run 50 schools span India, primarily in tier 2, tier 3 cities. Our focus has always been that we must provide high quality education to our children, irrespective of which city, which town they are from. In that endeavor, We've gone to the interiors of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, and we are very proud of uh, uh, the growth that we've seen and the kind of work we've done with about 35,000 students studying with us. The aspiration level of the children has astounded us and impressed us. Now, I'm here today to talk to you about how theater can be the definitive pedagogical tool to bring in 21st century skills in the classroom. Every time I uh, speak to someone about uh, theater, people automatically start talking about drama. Now, I am an educator. I'm a learner. I'm also a theatrician. I have had the privilege to actually produce, act, direct, script, close to 100 professional plays. I've had the privilege to perform with some of the legends of the theater world. But every time I speak about theater in education, I do not want to only talk about drama. I want to talk beyond drama. Every time we've uh, produced a play, we've seen that there are transposable skills that can come from theater into education. We don't want to talk only about Shakespeare and Premchand. As a subject, that's great. But think about the other skills theater brings in. And I'm not even talking about the low-hanging fruits of communication and presentation skills, spontaneity, Interactivity, intuitiveness, role play, ad living. These are some of the skills that children can learn through theater. At Jaipuria, our value system is driven through a very good acronym called SPICE, where S stands for sustainability, P is for possibility, I is for integrity, C is for collaboration, and E is for empathy. I strongly believe that through theater, we can bring not only these values into the classroom, but we can have a learner who is equipped with 21st century skills and create a better world, have a better connect with their fellow human beings. In my life, theater has had a great role to play. In my life, uh, when I was a student, I was a very shy kid. I would not participate in school events. I would not volunteer for projects. I would generally sit in the back of the class, I would write my uh, examinations, and I would be happy about it. Now, as I grew uh, older, my teachers and my friends, they motivated me for doing a lot of things. For example, they got to know that I would hide in my room and I would practice a lot of speeches. They would get to know that I would nicely uh, do mimicry of Boopy Goldberg, Michael Jackson, and even uh, John, John Travolta. When they got to know about it, they encouraged me to audition for the school play. When I auditioned for the school play, thankfully, I got selected. And uh, uh, after that, I could be a part of a group. I felt a sense of belonging. I understood what my fellow actors, my friends, my director was going through. I also understood as to what empathy meant. I understood teamwork. I understood collaboration. I understood the power of communication. I also understood that in order to be uh, connected, you need, to, you need to have trust with your fellow being. I learned to trust people. I learned to take responsibility, make decisions, a habit that has stayed with me forever. Today, when I'm leading Jaipuria schools, I have incorporated a lot of my learnings as a child into my professional work as well. Now, when you think about uh, theater, you always think about performances. You always think about the proscenium platform, where the director is the boss. The director has uh, the script. They have chosen the actors. The actors know what dialogues to say. They also know that there's props, there is a set. Now, our classrooms have pretty much functioned around a scripted environment, where there's a scripted lesson plan. There is uh, a, there's an expected outcome. We sometimes underestimate and we don't value the emotions of the learner as well as the facilitator, the teacher. Today, we need to come out of the performance which is scripted 
but go into a theater workshop mode, whereby the performer and the participant are the same thing. Generally, when a teacher is teaching the classroom, uh, they expect the reaction from the students in a way that they can measure it. Measurable outcomes is what we talk about. In a theater performance, the actors gauge on uh, the reaction of the audience. Are they laughing? Are they crying? Do they have a sense of uh, surprise? But there's not audience participation. My premise is that for 21st century skills and for the future of the world, we need to have more workshop-based education happening in our classroom. We need to be disruptive. We need to also understand that through games, through collaborations, through uh, a lot of theater activities, we'll be able to build skills such as communication, empathy in our students, which will gauge well for them. I don't think that uh, uh, only drama studies or only using games as an icebreaker is required. We need to incorporate it into our pedagogy. As we've gone along, we've seen that uh, uh, the scripted environment is giving way to a more experiential learning platforms. Experiences, engagement, this is what is going to be the value add for the future. I strongly believe that there are a lot of principles of education that we all want to follow. Developing trust is one. Better brainstorming, communication, uh, non-verbal communication as well. Leadership, creative problem solving, constructive uh, uh, analysis of the problems. These are some of the 21st century value adds that we are looking at. Because we are getting ready for careers that our students, our children have not seen. They have not been invented yet. We need to provide them with more skills to be analytical. That is going to be important. Every time we think about creativity, we think about art. But creativity is also about analyzing. Creativity comes through a lot of interaction with your fellow human being. And theater provides that wonderful opportunity. At Jaipuria, we do a lot of upskilling of our teachers. We do a lot of upskilling of our uh, administrative staff as well. Through these upskilling measures, uh, we've seen that the teachers have become more involved in the teaching learning process. For us, the student remains at the center of the teaching learning environment. For us, the student is the most important. Because we've understood one thing, that you know the industrial classrooms where you had the similar expectations from all students, uh, that has given way, that gave way to technology, and technology has given way to a more social world. Today, after the pandemic, we've understood the value of human beings. We've understood as to what is required for us to stay connected to each other. I hope that this uh, newfound love that we have for each other stays. And thereby, I always focus on empathy. And I promise you, no better tool than theater to bring in empathy into the classroom. We need to equip our students for not only jobs, but for the environment. Make sure that we start valuing our planet, because there is no planet B, no matter what everyone else might say. We need to focus on it. We need to bring real world applications into the classroom. Real world problems need to be solved, and environment being one of them. When you do theater, and when you do theater workshops, when you do a lot of uh, games and activities, there is closeness. There is bonding, and you start appreciating these aspects of life. I encourage all educators that no matter what the, the board says and the government says, please invest heavily uh, in your time and your resources on upskilling of teachers, on providing a differential pedagogical tools to your teachers and to your students. The value adds that you will see will be tremendous. We talk about internationalization. We also talk about literature. We talk about uh, communication in a manner that the world has become close. But we've also understood that unless we understand and appreciate different cultures, we will not be able to genuinely uh, be a world citizen. For us, the focus has to remain on uh, making better citizens. Citizens who not only add value, citizens who are uh, connected with each other, who have an emotional attachment to the world as one. When we've done theater workshops, we've understood that you know uh, there's a lot of skills that go, go beyond that comes into the corporate world as well. One of my favorites is negotiation. We talk in a deep RJ voice. 
when we negotiate and we want to drive a point across, or uh, we have a very dynamic flamboyant presence. All of these skills come through theater. We also understand that uh, uh, when we talk about theater, there is a lot of agility that comes in. Now, I promise you that nothing in your life will make you more agile than some uh, mishap that has happened. If you have a wardrobe malfunction and your pants drop on stage and 2,000 people are looking at you, that makes you spontaneous. Spoiler alert has happened to yours truly in the classroom and on stage. Remember, to be truly successful in life, remain agile, remain connected, communicate, collaborate, and you will see that the world has changed. Invest your time, effort, energies into upskilling of your educators, into upskilling and differential philosophy and differential pedagogy for your students, and you will see the benefit. My name is Kanak Gupta, and I was talking to you about why theater is the definitive pedagogical tool for 21st century skills. Thank you so much.